These are the books I recommend you reading. My favorite one is actually this one. It's my first one that I got. It is The Negatives by Michael C. Thomas. And then I received these two because I knew they would be good as well. Because this one's my favorite. I know this one is his favorite. But, yeah. And I'm not done reading them. And they're groovy. And they're all written by a Virgo. And um, these are some other books that are written by a Virgo. And they also made three. Which is Sonia Fitzpatrick, The Pet Psychic. You know, from the Animal Planet. Well, she continues to do this. And she has a YouTube. And I have a clip of her from the Animal Planet. That's really rare. And then I have this. Sunspot, the best ever astrology guide to your dog. So I thought that was really cool to get something like that, but it doesn't tell me much. But oh well, at least it has to do with symbolizing that. And then I have this. This is like one of the first books I've ever bought because I was into magic or something. They're really cool, just about herbs and decorations. That's all that is. But I thought the spells actually did work because I did a spell to go. Um, join a coven, like, the, the that day, I met this chick who asked me to be in her coven, and, like, I lost contact with them after I hung out with them for a long time, and then years later, I did the same spell, and I ran into her again, and we were gonna be in the coven thing, and then lost contact, but actually, she has something that's a big festival she's involved in, and she gets a lot of people who are into witchcraft together, whatever the crap. I'm just like, again, I see spirits and stuff. And I got this. Isn't that pretty? I had this one since I was a kid, but it's just pretty. Whatever. And then I have this, the healing runes. I was just wondering what all the symbols were about. Not that I believe in that. But I'm psyching and stuff. Oh, here's some. Oh, and I also have. Self-help, my idol, Miranda Sings. Hell yes. It's really great. Haters my ball. She's on Netflix. I don't know. And then there's this. Dashkin's Psychic Earth Preschool. Okay. Well, that's... I used to wear this one. A jacket with other things that I thought was cool because I didn't know about patches. I made my own out of pictures. And tape them to my jacket. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's funny. I print, you know, a lot of things out. Here's some symbols and what they mean. That I thought was interesting. Oh well. Um, these are cool. Symbols. Whatever. Here's my spell. I will join a local coven. That's what it is. And I did it and it actually worked. Oh my gosh, we should do this. Okay. Get a piece of paper. I don't want to write this down. I'll do this to another video, I guess. But these are some books. I guess this will just be my book thing. Okay. Get a piece of paper. Write down what you want. And like, I believe in affirmation bullshit. But this worked for some reason. I don't know. Um, say, for instance, you like to find a coven, you would write, I will join a local coven. And you will fold this piece of paper and you will put it in a piece that no one will find it. And then you would go to your altar and light your candles and incense and cast your salt circle and you would kneel down in the center and you would imagine yourself in a cocoon of bright white light and that circle of light begins to slowly expand until it finds a one person and then another and another until you have a circle and you say this is my family bring them to me over and over again and do this again for however many nights it takes for you to find someone to lead you to a circle, imagine you have white energy coming down into your crown chakras and pushing 
black energy down and out of your of you from the head down and it flows out of your feet and into a hole the hole keep drawing through the feet and fills you with light and warmth and at your center the two colors meet and mingle and begins to flow out of you through your fingers um and toes and eyes and ears and crown which is however the soft spot on a baby's head and white light pouring out it's lavender and white i love lavender this one of your throat which is where the soft spot of the baby's head is and the white light pours out of its oh fuck this is blue light as the throat chakra as the heart is green the light solar plex is probably bright below your rib cage um yellow and then orange obviously the belly button and then you know your private area is red and basically that's what it's telling you to do and the rainbow light surrounding your energy of bullshit entire body then release one of the rde up to the white and close all of but your red and white you must keep those open at all times to keep your body from going nuts there is a constant energy flow like a shower and there ha has to be a in light and an outlet or there will be an overflow or a flow each male part male of the race is born with seven parts of the psychic not the females their balance is better they have eight there is the heart call the virgin part of you that is born new that's one of the seven parts and this is the chant i want to join a coven coven is a group of witches wiccans whatever you want to call them that gather regularly for a circle and spell casting and teaching new wiccans they are like a family that gives you the understanding and acceptance that your blood doesn't give you look in your phone book or new age book stores and things like that a new age because usually we'll have a coven member that either works there or is a regular where you can leave your name and number to be contacted duh Oh my gosh, my my name was Mr. Cabbage Head 16. This was December 06, 2001 on Thursday. Okay. Look at this part at the bottom I decorated as God and Goddess. Goddess is silver, goddess like gold energy. Oh, pretty. And that's the spell for that. Okay. And here's these symbols. I love them so much. Like the marriage symbol. Yeah, my nails are black because I just colored my friend's hair black. And these symbols are just great. Just for decorations and stuff. If you can catch them. Yeah. And here's these runes. Symbols. Okay, this means innocence, this means, um, fuck, trust, innocence, trust, and why guilt, that's horrible, and this means faith, I bet, or no, this one's grief, and then this one's gratitude, this one is love, and this one is shame. This one's faith. This one is um, denial. And this one's boundaries. And this one is honesty. I like that one. And which I don't use these, but it's cool. 
And this one's serenity. And this one is patience, acceptance, courage. Okay. Prayer, forgiveness, humor, anger, surrender, or serenity, surrender. And then um, wisdom, hope, and fear, passion, and devon, and the divine. Those are those what those mean. So those are the books that I have. And there you go, toodles.